I'm Libra. Welcome to our channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading. Top of the deck is only you. Literally, I'm not seeing anyone else if that's what you're wondering. And maybe for some of you all, this is your divine masculine that hasn't isn't seeing anybody right now. But for some of you, they are. Okay, they chose somebody else. So let's tap into the energy and see what's going on with your divine masculine. Um What's the name of this phone playing right now? Wale um, and Usher. Is this matrimony? I think if there's a question of my heart, um, it doesn't belong to anyone but you. Okay. Wish fulfillment. So this is this is what your divine masculine is thinking about, a wish fulfillment. Something close to their heart. And I feel like that is you. Okay, we have escapade. This person may want to like somebody could live near a beach or that your person, your divine masculine may want to take a trip out somewhere on a vacation to a beach. This person wants to get away somewhere secluded, be alone. This person wants to hide away. Yeah. Let's see. Show me more of the divine masculine's energy when it comes to the divine feminine. Please. Obsession must have indulgence. Just wanted to pop out, but it didn't pop out. Okay, let's see what we have here. We have isolating thoughts. Yeah, your your divine masculine is alone thinking about you. I don't know if you guys know that here. Make them prove it. So this person may want to prove themselves to you, or you may feel like, well, I'm not taking you back um, unless you prove to me that you've changed. That you, until you prove to me that you're ready, right? I definitely feel like that is that you divine feminine if you resonate as a divine feminine. The ace of pentacles just wanted to pop out here. You could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. You don't have to be. This person is trying to find the strength and the courage to do something here, to move forward towards their happiness. That's what's happening here. And oh boy, somebody could be dating somebody online. They could see, be thinking that you're dating online or that you have multiple options. For some of you guys, they, your, your divine masculine does have a few love interests online. They're talking to a couple people casually. They're not doing too much. I dropped a card. Hold on. Okay. Oh, we got here. Oh, look at this telepathy. Dreams and songs. Okay. You, you see what I'm saying? Where, where, where we're going with this? Like... That song, Fumble, go listen to it, I'm telling you. I was, like, so drawn to it. I was so drawn to it. Um, it was so, yeah. D d listen, this person right now doesn't want you to lose hope. They're hoping that you're not gone, you know what I'm saying? Even though you, the two of you aren't seeing eye to eye, you know, you're, you might not be talking to them because of their ways, you know, and, and you're feeling like you're too different, that you're just not on the same page, like there are too many struggles and obstacles to make this thing work, right? Definitely, you guys are seeing a lot of signs, synchronicities. You could be seeing 1111, 222, 333. You're hearing songs, having dreams. Like the both of you are going through this right now, I feel like. And your person is fantasizing here. They can't stop thinking about you. Yeah, they can't stop thinking about you. Let's just see what the divine masculine wants to say to you really quick. One more card. We have self-love, creation, and intentions. I feel like this is you. You know, your person feels like you took a step back, you took a step away. Uh, you're focusing on yourself here. You're showing yourself self-love by walking away from the connection. Your person knows that you're doing what's best for you. They do. It may feel bad about it. They feel ashamed, okay? They do. They whether they've expressed this or not. What does the divine masculine want to say to the divine feminine? That's too many spirits. What does the divine masculine want to say to the divine feminine? Yeah, somebody's ego got in the way. The, this person knows that they were toxic. And you triggered a lot of uh, behavior or like you put a mirror up to their face, okay? Um, maybe they feel like you are a little bit in your ego here too. Okay. I called a meeting with my spirit guides because of you. <laughs> so this person's like praying and hoping and wishing, right? Star energy here that you are not done with them. It says, I blocked you when I was in my feelings and now I regret it. 
somebody here could have been in their ego, okay? But this person still gets jealous. I'm telling you, for those of you who may be casually dating online here, you might have a couple different options. This person thinks that you are, um, that you are entertaining other people. Not to say you don't have the right to, because you do. You can do whatever you want, you guys. Don't sit around waiting on anybody, that's for sure. Okay, don't you don't have to sit around and wait for this person to get it together. It says I destroyed and deleted our photos when I got upset with you and now I regret it. Another energy of deep regret. I catch my myself in deep thought about you and it stresses me out. Like this person when they're alone, okay, they're hearing signs, seeing signs, synchronicity, songs here. All right, they're fantasizing about you. They can't get you off of their mind. Okay, they're seeing all these signs and synchronicities here. It says, I can't always accept your apologies when you consistently keep messing it up. So this person continuously, you know, they're making these mistakes and you know that. And I feel like you guys have forgiven this person so much to the point where it's like, I can't forgive you again. Like how many times? Because now it's not on you, it's on me. If I continue to forgive you, you know. I asked our angel Michael to hold me back from screwing everything all up. I can't stand when you see my my messages and don't respond. So you're leaving this person on red. You know, I find it hard to forgive you now. So this person may have some resentment towards you for not talking to them. Okay. Or this could be your energy where you are like, yeah, I don't want to talk. You know, I can't forgive you anymore. Let's see what the truth is here of the situation. Show me the truth about the divine masculine situation. Flip and switch the roles. The divine masculine can be feminine, okay? Just remember that. Energy and roles can be reversed. What's the truth here about the divine masculine? They're living a double life. They have a partner engaged in secret behavior or relationship. So there's a third party here. Okay, I feel like you guys know that. Manipulation, decisions being influenced by outside people or others. So this person can't be with you right now because they're worried about what's going on, how it's going to look, especially if there's a third party situation here. I feel like this person, your person has people in their ear talking and they're trying to keep certain things on a hush hush. But it's like everybody's got something to say to this person about the decision, which is the lack or lack of the decision that they haven't made here. Love magician. This person doesn't understand that they have the power to transform the connection themselves because they're so they're so afraid about what people are going to say, what they're going to think. They're allowing other people to influence their decisions here. You know what I mean? You, you, you get the energy here? Yeah. Divine timing. The one you love is afraid to commit. This, so this person isn't ready. You know, this person isn't ready. They're too stuck in their ego here. They know what the connection is for sure. Look at this. Divine timing is here again. So we got waste timing, right? Um, you could feel like you're wasting your time with this person, but guess what? Now is really just not the, the right time here. Your person's feeling like the, the timing isn't now because of, like I said, some of you guys are in a third party. They're with a third party, but everything is going to work out when the universe sees fit. Okay. Don't worry about it. That's for those of you who want your divine masculine. Okay. Different pages, incompatible desires and perspectives. So this could be maybe your person is right now. I definitely already know the two of you aren't seeing eye to eye here, but there there may be some issues. Like this is giving me the energy of if there were a karmic or third party, like they're not on the same page with this karmic and this third party. Show me the energy here between the karmic and the and the divine masculine, please. Physical distance or emotional distance, hurting connection. So the, the, the karmic and the divine masculine, they have emotional distance between the two of them. They're not, they're not, they're, I'm telling you, divine masculine and this karmic, they're not seeing eye to eye. Show me the, the energy of the karmic and the divine masculine. Letting go of relationship, focusing on themselves. You see what I'm saying? Somebody's ready for a change. The karmic and the divine masculine are growing apart. Show me the energy between the karmic and divine masculine. See, yeah. Victorious, you will overcome any problems within this connection came out in reverse. 
Okay, it came out in reverse. And for some of you guys, someone has their eye on you here. So, so like, this is giving the energy of, like, maybe this karmic knows that your divine masculine is still watching you. Or maybe this karmic is watching you. I don't know. Look at this. There goes that third party, like, um, energy we saw, of, like, living a double life here. Somebody is definitely engaging in secret rendezvous, okay? So your divine masculine could be, you know, he looks like he or he or she, the divine masculine, definitely has some growing to do, okay? Somebody here is definitely seeing other people, uh, or the third party could be the one. I, I don't, we're going to see here. Show me the divine masculine's energy, please. Show me the divine masculine's energy. You know what? No, let's. I want to know more about this person that's watching you. Okay, show me the person that's watching the divine feminine. Show me the person's energy that's watching the divine feminine, please. All right, they're watching you move on. <laughs> Six of Swords. They are watching you leave. Okay, leave them behind and they want to talk here. Okay, you could be dealing with a Gemini Libra Aquarius or an Aries Leo or a Sag. They're watching you just move on and have a great life. Six of Swords, Page of Wands, that's exactly what they're watching you do. Ooh, ew, ew, ew. Hold on a second. Look at this. Let me show you this energy. Six of Swords, Page of Wands, they're watching you have a great life. Your back is turned. You're minding your business here. And then guess what else came out? Scorpio energy and Capricorn energy, the death and the double. They're watching you in toxic relationships with toxic people or separate yourself from toxic, from a toxic situation. You're changing, you're transforming, you're ending and detaching from this, this type of devil energy here. Look at this, Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be a water sign here, a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio, definitely Scorpio energy here and definitely uh, Capricorn energy with the devil. So the person who's watching you sees you, sees you changing. I feel this energy of like they're uncomfortable with it because they feel like they're losing you for good. Let's see what this karmic has to say. Show me the karmic's energy, spirit guides. Show me this karmic's energy. Show me the karmic's energy. Okay. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, honey, your divine masculine is a complicated wreck. I told you they're not happy with this karmic that they're with. And part of it is because they're so ashamed and intertwined with their feelings and how they feel for you, for you, divine feminine. I'm telling you, I'm trying to teach them how to be a better man. That's why we always fight. Now, I, I don't get this. OK, because you can. First of all, if you're a woman like a female, how can you teach a, a, a man how to be a man? That's number one here. So this tells me this, this karmic has some growing up to do because you cannot, first of all, you could be 45 and not be a, a man. Okay. You could, you could be 50 and not be a man. And, and honestly, a, a man can only show another man, like a real man, how to be one. A woman cannot show a masculine how to be a masculine. I'm just saying you were, you were a bit too much for him, dear. Tone it down a notch. Look at that. You were a bit too much. See, what I think this was, you guys, this karmic is jealous that you challenged your masculine to be better. You wanted them to grow. You wanted them to heal. You wanted them to make better decisions. You wanted them to, but look at this. It says, I can't give him what he wants with you. See what I'm saying? This karmic knows that's why they're upset because you challenged this person and what you gave your, what you gave this divine masculine, they can't give them. I purposely fuck with your energy in hopes you will give up on him. Let's look at this. I purposely fuck with your energy in hopes you will give up on him. Make sure you guys are cleansing, saging. All right. Actually, as a matter of fact, let's sage right now. Go get you some sage or get you some Palo Santos. Okay. Light a candle. Do some, um, you know, candle magic here, whatever it is. So I'm going to cleanse the energy for you right now. Okay. Because, honey, that karmic doesn't seem like they don't have anything else to do. <laughs> oh my goodness so you know get you some maybe some evil eye uh, 
you know, or a black obsidian or something to protect your energy or just ask Archangel Michael for protection. But I really feel like y'all are already protected. It says he's been changing for the better all by himself. You see what I'm saying? That's because divine feminine, you were a catalyst in helping this divine masculine grow and change. And since you st you changed, walked away, eight of cups energy, this person's like, they see since you left this masculine alone, how much they're growing. And so they know that now they're on two separate pages. What is this? I make him take photos with me just to piss you off. I make him take photos with me just to piss you off. So somebody here could be posting photos on social media and then like posting them just so you'll see them. But you know, divine feminines aren't paying, are not paying attention. You have your back turned and you're minding your business and having a great time. Okay. You don't see this. You see how these people have their back turned. They're headed towards calmer waters. You have your back turned to anything, any conflict. You don't care. I think that's actually comical. Karmics are hilarious. Stop chasing him. Oh, okay. I don't think the divine feminine is chasing him. I don't think the divine feminine is chasing chasing him at all because you guys have cut that cut that loose death card, devil card. You cut it loose. Don't be hating on me over his personal choices. I mean, this karmic definitely has a lot of petty childish energy. I'm doing all the dirty work for you, and they are and is. <laughs> they this person is so delusional like the fact that they're doing whatever it is that they're doing for this for this divine masculine they literally are in their ego and they don't see that all this is doing is keeping this their how can i put this y'all like this this karmic literally doesn't understand and get that you were the one who challenged this person to grow and develop they're over there keeping this divine masculine in this old ugly bitter petty childish energy and they're not gonna grow in that environment oh my god he talked shit about you to me and talked shit to you about about me as well he's the problem so for some of y'all this divine masculine could have pillow could be pillow talking with this karmic about you. I hope not. Ooh, I hope not. Oh my God. Um, let's see the divine masculine's energy, please. Show me the divine masculine's energy. Look, regret. There goes all that regret. Five of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. I told you this person is in regret. They're feeling all beat up. Nine of Wands, whatever this person is, they are they are like overwhelmed, they're stressed out, just feeling this sitting in this ashamed and regretful energy. They feel a lot of grief. This person is mourning, mourning you, I feel like. Very sad. Show me the divine masculine energy. Yeah, look at them. All they do is think about you. Pisces energy, the hangman. They know they have to make a sacrifice, but it's like they're not taking action. They're starting to see, see things for what they really are now. Show me the divine masculine energy. Uh huh. See, th th this is the person living the double life, seven of swords. This person knows they're seeing the hangman with the seven of swords, and somebody is seeing the lies and the deception in, in, in the behavior for what it is, and the trickery, and the schemes. Just the bullshit. Yeah. The bullshit was the ace of wands. Somebody was thinking with. One thing, somebody was led only towards passion, a new beginning of passion, but this person was not mature. They were still in their ego or in lust, lusty energy. How does the divine feminine feel right now? Show me the divine feminine's energy. Listen, your energy, Divine Feminine, is you know the truth. Ace of Swords in reverse in the moon, you know they were hiding things. You know the truth. It came out. You, were, you are releasing fear, okay? You know the truth. You're releasing any anxiety, okay? You, you for a while, you guys may have um, convinced yourself that certain things weren't going on, but you knew. You knew. Show me the divine feminine energy here, please. Two of swords. Yeah, in denial. You guys might be in denial about this. The hair of client. Okay, so there you go. Learning a spiritual lesson here. Show me the divine feminine energy. 
Seven of Cups. You guys kind of seem confused. If you resonate with the Divine Feminine, you seem confused about these burdens. Ten of Wands. Show me Divine Feminine energy. So you guys are actually feeling overwhelmed and abandoned right now. You're feeling a little overwhelmed and, and, and burdened and abandoned here. Okay, so we have the Magician, Gemini energy. What is, what, what's being manifested here? Queen of Wands, take some sort of action. You could be manifesting some sort of action. Five of Swords, Conflict. Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. Mm. Looks like you're standing up for yourself and focusing on your own growth and your own progress and being trying to be head over heart here. If anybody comes comes towards you with any sort of conflict, I feel like you're blocking that. You're not putting up with it. Seven of Wands here. Okay. Know that. Show me the divine feminine's energy. Okay, you could be a king of cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Show me the divine feminine's energy. You love this person, King of Cups, the Sun. It could be a Leo. You actually do love this person, or you could be meeting somebody new. Page of Wands. Show me the divine feminine's energy, please. You have a divine masculine in your energy who is, oh, here goes that toxic Capricorn or devil. Clarify the devil. Clarify the devil. Let's see who this is. Whoever this devil is, um, Taurus energy. Show me the devil here. A wish fulfillment with the lovers. Okay. There's obviously a choice that needs to be made here. Be careful. There's something about divine timing with Sagittarius energy here, but you're blocking it. You're blocking it. You're blocking it and you're healing and protecting your energy. And you're only moving towards... Some of you guys may be moving towards some form of like exciting work, new work adventure or something here. You're loving on yourself. Ace of Cups, Knight of Wands, have a, you know, you may have new love coming in or this is just you focusing on yourself, dropping those burdens. So you are dropping the burdens, which is good. You're moving away from them. Okay. the um, And dropping them because I think, was that Ten of Wands? We saw Ten of Wands earlier, right? Let's see. Show me the divine, okay, divine feminine energy, blossoming abundance. So you have some form of abundance coming in here. So some of you guys really have been seeing 333, healer of the ages. So you guys may be doing healing work or you may work with your hands or you may be working, maybe you work in, some of you work in healthcare. It's time for you to take some form of action here. There's some form of deceit around you, some lies. Show me divine feminine. So be aware of that storm warning. So there's some sort of tower moment here. Whenever this tower moment comes in, you're going to have to take action. That could have been that conflict we saw earlier, the five of swords. But again, when that seven of wands presented itself and with the, with the temperance card, you're blocking that and you're healing. You're not allowed or your spirit guides are blocking it for you. That's what it is. Just thank you. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Like, this is what I was showing y'all earlier. It's your spirit guys, your spirit team, they're blocking this for you. Mm -hmm. The world card. There's an ending here. For some of you all, there may be some travel to the world. Something is closing. A cycle is closing here. And a door to value. So some money. Some of you guys are having some form of, um, yeah, and walking away. Close it. So you divine feminine, you're closing the cycle and you're walking away and you're moving towards some new abundance here. You could be traveling the world or this could be a promotion or a new job or whatever it is. Something could be happening unexpectedly. Um, 
What else do I want to use? Um, masculine energy, please. Spirit cards. <laughs> Show me divine masculine energy. Show me divine masculine energy, please. Whoa. Okay. All right. We have fragmentation of the soul, significant drama from the past, irrational, unexplained fears, checking out in a certain situation, overreacts to seemingly small problems. So your person is overreacting to something here. Their heart broken. Their heart is like falling into pieces here. Um, there's definitely some drama that's affecting them from healing and, and growing and, and you know what I mean? And moving forward and moving out of this karmic cycle like like they're supposed to. They're having trouble even... I feel like somebody in their energy here... This person is going through a lot of emotional stress, I feel like. It says, I'm worrying myself, oh, I'm working on my self worth. For a long time, I deemed myself as someone who didn't deserve love and happiness. I was always angry with my life and pushed love away because I thought I didn't deserve it. That's something from somebody's childhood there. I had my life all planned out, focusing on my five year plan, but then I met you and everything changed. I didn't know how to rearrange my life for you. I should have learned to compromise. Then we have divine feminine, compassionate, love, love, life, soft, understanding, insight, empath, empath, creation, birth, renewal, healing, restoration, acceptance, and connection, oneness, receptivity, nurturing, and growth. You see what I'm saying? Like you and this person just are not in alignment right now. It says, I'm working on my divine feminine side. I know I need to be more nurturing, understanding, and compassionate towards myself and others. I want to be more soft and loving, especially towards you. So this person is working on their divine feminine side. I feel like you're fully in your divine feminine side. This person has some stuff they need to heal. It could be mother issues, you know what I mean? Or lack, lack thereof. Let's get, let's get one more. All right, let's see. We have runner, afraid of doing the work and selfish, fears, fears change and intimacy unawakened, doesn't feel worthy of your time, energy and needs constant validation. OK, I don't know what you want from me. I love you, but I can't give you what you need. I don't have the time or capacity to understand our connection. It's best to leave it alone. So your person here is a runner. She's a runner. She's a track star. <laughs> oh, my God. Third party situation. I told you guys. Like, I mean, that was pretty obvious, right? We know. It says main character or the side piece. Another person got in the way of a relationship, feeling betrayed and second guessing their self-worth. I made you feel inadequate because I chose someone over you and I regret the pain I have caused you due to my selfishness and my physical needs. You didn't deserve being treated as an option. Yeah. Oof. All right. That was a nice reading. Okay. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Bye.